Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I'm playing zombies again on Call of the Dead, except this is the multiplayer version, and I am playing with Bunk the Beast, Dr. Kilgore, and also DD. It's Dark. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Dark from Frontline Cinema. And Dark, what is his actual gamer tag? It is DD. Dark Designs, something, DD, something. I don't know. We'll see it here soon. But he's he's the guy that did all the background work and all the artwork for my channel. So thanks again for that, man. It's really cool. And I'll put a link to everyone's channel in the description because they said they want to play zombies with all of you. So they are going to take time to play zombies with any person that watches this video that wants to play zombies with them that's what they told me I swear <laughs> so go check them out and tell them to play zombies with you right now and they said no matter what they were doing um, they were gonna drop everything and play zombies with you so if you're looking for someone to play zombies with hit hit one of them up <laughs> so we, we get pretty far in this one um, I think we go to round 14 and we had even taken some time to stop and try to do the Easter egg so it's cool we get pretty far I was pretty happy with the performance <laughs> and this map is a lot harder I think than any of the other zombie maps to date it's harder to get to the higher levels but I think it might, it might be a combination of this this map is more difficult and it's new so you don't really know all the things that you should and shouldn't do in order to get to the higher levels so there might be a little learning curve there and probably get better and easier as you learn all the ins and outs of the map so this is another zombie hotline video and so we are going to be taking calls from the zombie hotline and I'll put the phone number up on the screen so that you can call in and leave me tips or if you have questions and want to know how to do certain things you can call in and ask questions or give tips or just give feedback on my channel and when you do call in and leave like a few voicemail messages I had a lot of people that were calling in a lot and leaving multiple voicemails and I couldn't tell the difference between who had called and already was in a video and the people that hadn't called yet so I started just blocking numbers of people that had already called in so that I can get more new people calling in that hadn't had the chance to leave a voicemail yet unless you're a girl so if you're a girl you can call back in because there's not many girls that do call in so I'll, I'll give the girls a pass on that girls can call in as many times as they want even if I don't use the uh, voicemails as every single one of them I'll most likely use some of them as long as it's relevant so let's go to the first call who do we have on the line hey man is that your real name live commentary right now cool and pretty cool thanks so yeah dude um this is uh, very important. Very important. Um, so call me back as soon as possible. Um, my number is 305. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, why do people do that? It's very important. Call me back. If, if you have an emergency, I would recommend that you hang up the, from the zombie hotline and call 911. But don't don't be calling 911 for, like, zombie tips. So I, I hate to tell people to call 911, but if you have an emergency, like someone is dying in your family then yeah call 911 don't call the zombie hotline and I, I'm not gonna call you back so yeah that's that's the rules so who else do we have oh uh, yo wicked criminal yo um, I've been following you on Twitter and cool on man thanks YouTube I love your videos man and thanks I just want to let you know that you know you ever want to talk you know do whatever and get up keep recording the videos man all right i will job, man. see you man, see you, man. later man all right cool well thanks for calling i'm glad you like my videos oh, and um 
I think that that we're just gonna you as far as talking, this is this is about how we're gonna talk. Oh look, me and George Romero go flying through the sky. He went on that little flippy pad and <laughs> followed us over. So that was that was cool. It's the first time I did that. So alright, let's see who else do we have? On the zombie hotline. Hey look at Trapno, just uh, a quick heads up a tip on in the beginning of uh, Call of the Dead. Yeah. When if you accidentally shoot George Romero and he's chasing after you, he is chasing run after me. The water and it'll slow him down. Okay, I'm gonna run so to the water. So he's running everywhere. All right, I'm in the water. Keep slowing yourself down. Just run to the water. I'm in it. And George Romero will slow down. Slow down, George Romero. Give you time to get away. Slow down. Oh look, it worked. Thanks. Cool man. Yeah, that did the trick. George Romero is all cooled off. So if you shoot George Romero and he's chasing you, get him to any water and it cools him down. Because he is he's very hot tempered. If you get him mad, he will not stop chasing you until you get him to the water. And I I first time the, the video that's on Team Noble I had just thought that he stopped chasing you eventually, but I had ran through the water and didn't know that's what stopped him. I just thought he just stopped. <laughs> so that's cool to know and figured that out eventually. So that's a good good tip for everyone there. All right, let's see. Who else do we have on the line? Okay, the Call of the Dead trailer. Um, all I have to say is Danny Trejo holding machetes and killing zombies. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Okay, Cassandra, bye. Thanks for calling in, Cassandra. And I think that was from the video that I posted about... I was tr trying to get some more girls to participate in the zombie hotline. So some girls did call in. And I had a pretty tight deadline for the video that I had to get up on Team Noble. So I didn't really have time to get all the editing involved to get all the voicemails and everything onto the video like I'd hoped, but I'm getting them onto this video, so that's cool. And that's all I have to say about that, but I would really like it if people called in because I can't have the zombie hotline if you guys don't call in, so everyone call in and if you have questions on the zombies or tips, as I already said, all right, blah, 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 repeat myself, call the number, goodbye. <laughs> all right, who else do we have? Hey, Wicked Shrapnel. Hello. It's Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Mile 4. I want to let you know that I love your videos. I think your commentary is really funny. And Thanks. I think that your voice and you are pretty sexy. Oh, oh my God. And I really hope that that's, that's pretty you hot. put this voicemail and love your videos. Oh, I did. All right. Have fun telling those zombies. I will. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> So, uh, thanks for calling in, Brooke. And that was that was a pretty sexy message you got there. I don't know about you guys, but that, that got me a little hot. <laughs> so, it's really cool when the girls call in. Because not many girls participate in gaming. As I had said in that one video, it's probably about... I think it's 7 to 9% of my viewers are girls. And that's probably pretty typical across the whole gaming community. So, whenever I hear from the ladies, it's... It's pretty cool, because you don't hear from the ladies too often. So have your voice heard, and call the zombie hotline for women's rights and equal opportunities. Except I give you better opportunities than the guys, because there's not as many of you calling. So there you go. Sexism in reverse. <laughs> Alright, who else do we have on the line? Hey, this is Dina B19. I called you hey. before. Um, so, the new map pack, the zombie map pack, looks pretty damn good. Pretty good. It is um, cool. I am very excited about a female being on there. Finally, finally, a I female keep on a girl there. Too. You know, yes. Um, yeah. I'm not going to make this too long. I love your video. Thanks. Um, said it before. And um, listen to my comments. Alrighty. Okay, Alright, later. Thank you for calling in. And it's I, I have mixed emotions about the girl being in it because it seems like I am the girl every time. And it's not that 
I don't like playing a character with nice breasts. Because I do. Uh, I was... I don't know <laughs> what I was going to say right there, but... I, I better not. I'll try to try to keep my comments to a minimum of controversy, but... I, I get the girl like every single time we play this and I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm going to the dashboard and dashboard out to reset the whole thing and then I come back and I'm still the girl. I'm like, ah, I, w I just wanted to be the other characters and like almost every single time that I've played this, I have been Sarah Michelle Gellar. And I don't know. I think it's cool for the girls that they have a character to play, but it'd be cool if you can actually pick your character. So if you don't want to be a girl, and you don't want to have breasts that are very nice and succulent, <laughs> then you could choose to not have succulent breasts. So I, I think that would have been a nice option. And if you wanted to have succulent breasts, then you could choose the Sarah Michelle Geller character and have succulent breasts. So that's that's my my take on it. So oh here I everyone was saying. Oh, you hear the music? I'm like, I don't hear the music. And then I forgot that I had turned the music volume down for multiplayer because I don't like hearing the music in multiplayer, especially like Search and Destroy and stuff. You'll be playing and all this tense music comes on and I get all nervous. So I just turn that music completely off. And I would recommend that you do the same. It helps your game. Turn the music off and turn the vibration on your controller off when you're playing multiplayer. It's less distracting. All right, so let's go to the next caller. Hello, you are on the zombie hotline. Yeah, dude, you're awesome. Thanks. And uh, you should look how awesome so, uh, I am. I got knocked I down. Something. Just, yeah, you shot him. I just wanted to call and see if it actually worked. It, no, it does not work. The zombie hotline is actually uh, completely a hoax, and I'm just really good at uh, doing different voices, so I make myself sound like other people that call in and no I'm just kidding it really works it's a voicemail system so it's not like I'm gonna be answering my phone when you call it's not live but even though sometimes I talk and make it sound like it's live it's not really live it just goes straight to a voicemail and you could leave a voicemail and then I could download those voicemails in mp3 format and I get knocked out again because I'm an idiot But. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're definitely due for Juggernog. And that is what this next caller has a question about. So this is going to be the last call for this video. So let's go to the hotline. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, I need to find out where Juggernaut is on the new Call of Dead map. Thank you. Bye. Well, you are in luck because I just got knocked down a couple times and we decided that, um... It's probably a good time to get Juggernog, so I hope you were paying attention because we are on our way to the Juggernog machine. The Juggernog that gives you Juggernaut. And so it's on this ship. And this ship is the, I think they call it the cargo ship. There's kind of like one big ship that's broken in half, and one side has the power where you turn on the power. And this one you go to, and this is where Juggernog is. And I guess they call it the cargo ship because there's a big cargo hold and... Yep, and here is Juggernog. It's right there. So I hope you were paying attention in class so that you know where Juggernog is. And... Uh, let me think if I have anything else to say. I think that is all that I have to say. And the video is over 14 minutes long already, so I hope that you were not bored during this video. And that you were thoroughly entertained and that you enjoyed the Call of the Dead map. And I hope that you will turn turn in. Tune in next time for the next episode. I'm going to have a link at the end of the video that once the next video is up will take you to that video. But until it's up, it'll just be a link to my zombie playlist where you can see all my other wonderful zombie videos. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. But wait, before you hit that click to continue, if you watched this whole video, you must have liked it. And it takes me hours of my time to make these videos, so all I ask for in return is that you take one moment of your time and hit that thumbs up button. Thanks.